Hey guys, thanks for joining me. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a review on the Assault Air Bike Elite. So Assault Fitness make air bikes. They have a few different versions. Today, I wanna do one on the Elite version because I'm aware that there aren't very, if any, review videos on the Elite version. And I wanna make this video to help you guys decide which one is the right one for you because I know a common question that people ask is which air bike should I buy? And the Assault Fitness air bike compared to the Rogue Echo bike. So there's a lot of comparison videos between the Air Assault Classic versus the Rogue Echo bike. And in a lot of cases, the Rogue Echo bike is a clear winner. But now that we have the Elite version, this is now becoming a bit more of a harder question to ask. I know there's gonna be some of you that may be asking, which is the best air bike you can buy? Is the Elite better than the Rogue bike? And I obviously wanna answer that question for you guys today, because obviously this is the one that I bought in the end, because it was a question that I was asking myself, but there wasn't any review videos on the Elite or comparison videos between the Assault Fitness Air Bike Elite compared to the Rogue Echo bike. So I wanted to make this video to answer the question for you guys, give you the reasons why I decided to go for this one over the other one, do a comparison and actually let you guys know Know what the benefits and what the great thing about an air bike is in general to have. What the Elite has kind of gets rid of what the issues that people had originally with the Classic. So this is coming from someone who has used the Classic, someone who's used the Rogue Echo bike and has now used this one. So I can sort of use my opinion on which one is better for which person. So when it came for me deciding which one to go for, I asked a couple of people that had used more chain driven ones than I have because I've used to the Rogue Echo bike for a while, which is a belt driven one. Those are the main differences that you're gonna have between this one this Elite and the Rogue Echo bike is one is belt driven, one is chain driven. And a lot of people would say, yeah, the belt one is smoother, it's less noise, apparently needs less maintenance, but they preferred the chain fed one because you can actually feel it. Your power actually feels like it's going straight into the chain. All of your power seems to be going into it and they actually feel that it's a lot harder to use. So this is something that went into my thoughts about going for this one. And the other thing that made me kind of decide more on this one was the overall maintenance. So people complained a lot about the air bike classic because they basically said, you know, if you want to learn how to do maintenance on a bike, get an air classic, get a, the assault fit, fitness classic. If you want to learn how to get good at the bike, buy the row, basically saying that you could use the assault fitness one, but you're going to have to get good at maintenance because the thing's constantly breaking down where well, the rogue one doesn't. The issue I had when looking up getting a belt driven one is if anything goes wrong with the belt drive, you need to get a specialist in to fix it. You want to call out to your house and fix it, you've got to then pay for that fee or maybe it's something where you actually have to take it apart if you don't have a van that's big enough to put it because it won't fit in the car once it's set up you have to take it somewhere for them to fix it to you it adds that stress that money and that inconvenience where, where at least with this one if something goes wrong with the chain drive there's plenty of videos online there's plenty of support and obviously where i bought this from they have replacement parts they have a service thing that allows you to be able to i could if i needed to fix this myself where if you had something like a belt driven one like the rogue echo one you're gonna have to pay or get a specialist in to actually fix it for you so that was one of the things that went into this the other thing why this one stood out for me was this one is built for commercial use the assault classic is i guess maybe a home version but it's very very common in say crossfit gyms this one was built for commercial use. I ask the people about maintenance, like what sort of maintenance I need to do, because people say if you do the Assault Fitness, the air bike, the uh, chain driven ones, you need to do a lot of maintenance. I asked them, what is the maintenance that I need to do on this? They sent me a couple of PDFs to give me some information on it, and he basically said, this thing is only gonna need light TLC once a year, if that. This thing is designed for hundreds of people to be using it every single day every single day. So if you're getting this for say home use, this is gonna be something that's gonna need very, very little maintenance. Maybe some wipe downs and some cleans and every now and again to oil it. But the, the maintenance that is needed for the Elite compared to the Classic is way down because what they have done is they listen to the community where people are saying, the Assault Bike, yeah, it's great. It gets your heart rate up. It's a good full body workout. The problem is it needs too much work. The chains are breaking. The cranks are breaking. It needs too much maintenance. It's basically a more of a chore to keep it and maintain it than it is to actually use it. Where if you move to the Rogue Echo Bike, where the maintenance is a lot less, basically you just gotta make sure it's clean and tidy and I think you can do a bit of self-tightening with the belt in case it comes a little bit slack, but 
that is less likely, the belt transmission is less likely to go wrong or need maintenance in the chain. So people were saying, go for that one. The Rogue one is built like a tank, it's big and it's heavy. They've listened to those concerns. They've listened to it. They then had maybe an idea of looking at how, why the Rogue bike was so successful and they've gone and created this. So what made me decide to go for this one over the Rogue Echo bike was a number of reasons. One is I spoke to people that have more experience with the chain drive one than the belt one and their reasons for using it were quite compelling. They basically said, you feel like more of your energy is going, it feels more like a bike and it feels like the power you put in there is actually going into the work, it's not being lost. The other thing that made me go for this one is the overall construction and the weight of this thing. If the people who I bought this from, because I'm based in the UK, Wolverson Fitness are the ones that dedicate a uh, dedicated sort of supplier of the Assault Fitness bikes in the UK. And if you have a look at them, the warranty that comes with this thing far exceeds the one you're gonna get with the Roica bike. And that talks about the class and the, how confident they are on their products. So I think this one comes with a five years frame warranty and a three year parts warranty. So this one compared to other ones, they've obviously put their stamp of approval that they can see that this thing is going to last a long time. Where if you look at the road one, I think it might be just a year or two on parts, especially here in the UK, because we have to pay for the exports, postage and like that. And obviously with us coming out of the EU as well, the prices have gone up, but people have talked about how if you want to buy the Rogue Echo bike, it's going to cost you about a grand. This one, brand new, I think it was £1,250. I managed to get it on sale. They've got a sale at the minute where it's £999. So it's basically the same price as a Rogue Echo bike if you wanted to import it in. The great thing about doing that and doing it through Wolverson is they obviously are going to offer you that service where if you need to have that guarantee or that warranty upheld, they're going to provide it, but they also provide parts. The other thing that I want to talk about this when it comes to stability, this thing is heavier than the Rogue Echo bike. And in some portions, it's a little bit bigger. Like this thing is built like a tank. The overall frame is very big. The whole side frame, everything is a lot bigger and just in general, this thing is heavy duty. So I think it comes in about 138 pounds. What I'll do is I'll put in a lot of the actual stats in here now, like the weight, the height, the width, the length, and different things like that. I'll even show you that, that, that you know they come in with a five-year warranty and a three-year warranty if you get it through Wolverson. I'm not sure what the warranty is directly for Assault Fitness. However, that just shows you how quality this product is if they're willing to put such a long warranty on it on something that previously people complained that this was a bike that was constantly breaking. So on here, you've got a bike that is very, very built. It's very, very heavy. What I like about it, and I again, I have used a Rogue Echo bike. When you're doing sprints on this thing, it doesn't wobble. This thing is stable. This thing doesn't move. The handles I find are a little bit more ergonomic. They're a lot more comfortable than the Rogue Echo bike. I've used a Rogue Echo bike and I've done sprints on it and it does wobble a little bit. Like in some cases it might look like it's big and it's heavy and it's stocky. Well, this thing is heavy. I think it's about 11 pounds heavier than the Rogue Echo bike and you can feel it. The platform is wide. It's also got wheels. If you want to move it around, you can do that. But this thing is built. It is heavy. It doesn't move. It doesn't wobble. It's got amazing warranty and it has a low maintenance that you need to do to it. So everything that was wrong with the Assault Bike Classic, they've reinvented this product and made it basically better than anything else there on the market. And compared to the Rogue Echo bike, in my opinion, it's better. Everything that the Rogue Echo bike had going for it was, yeah, it was built like a tank, it didn't wobble, it was maintenance free basically, and it gave you a really good workout. Where this is built like a tank, it doesn't wobble, it gives you an amazing workout, it's virtually maintenance free, but however, if anything did go wrong with it, due to the transmission of it being a chain, this thing is gonna be a lot easier to fix if you need to do it yourself than if you use the Rogue Echo bike or another belt-fed transmission. That's gonna need specialists to come in and fix that for you, which could add to cost and inconvenience. So guys, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a walk around through this product so you guys can see how good it is. So let's do a walk around the Assault Airbike Elite. So as you can see, this thing is pretty big and pretty sturdy. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do a full walk around so you guys can have a look what it is what it's like from all angles and everything like that. So first of all, let's start on the dashboard. So the dashboard is really good, really, really simple. Gives you your time, your calories, your distance, your speed, your watts, 
and your RPM. You have different intervals that you can put in. So on here, we've got 2010 or 1020, or you can go to custom. You can do target workouts where you're sitting for a target calories or a target distance. You can have heart rate programs. So again, if you've got something you can set your heart rate up to, it has a connectivity for doing that. You've also got Bluetooth so you can set, to, um, set it up to other devices as well. So you can keep track of what you're doing in the whole workout. You've got a pause. Uh, start you've got a stop and hold and reset and you've got different comp modes that you can enter and you've got full control over what you're doing it's a nice big lcd screen that's got all of the info on there so basically while you're working out everything is on there so you can see you don't have to flick between different things during your workout which i think is really really great next thing we've got which i like is the handles so the reason why i like these compared to the other ones is as you can see there's a big big bend in here a big bend what i like about these is it means that your legs aren't going to get in the way especially when you bring all the way back you've got that nice bow there that gets away from your legs so if you're someone that's got big legs or you know you're long limbed your knees your legs aren't going to get in the way when you pull the handles backwards which is really really handy so again you've got that nice big bow where it gets it right out the way and these handles are more ergonomically designed like these feel more comfortable they're not flat and straight like the other ones or bending away it's got a nice um, handle position that you've got which makes it very very comfortable for the push and the pull position and the handle grip here itself is very very durable it's one of those ones it feels grippy it's not like cheap plastic really durable so even when you're sweaty your hands aren't going to be slipping in this it's going to be comfortable and good to use so we've got those they're a little bit different from them move down to the seat the seat is really really good not only like other ones You've got the height that you can change. So you unscrew this, pull this out, and you can change the height. You've got different numbers on there, which is handy. So if you've got different people that are using this, you know which height is for you. So let's say you're, someone's at six, someone's at three, someone's at eight. You know which one's going to be set for you. So you can switch easily and comfortably between different people. But also as well, if you unscrew this, you can change position front and back again so you can then actually get the bike fitted to your customization that you want so that's all great for sort of like switching up down here and this is sort of the important thing and this is what separates it from classic and that is this bit here and this area around here everyone complained that the chain and everything like that was constantly getting dirt in there it was a, a pain to be able to manage and basically it was constantly the chains were snapping and things were getting in there like dust and gunk and you had to constantly clean it and oil it the cranks were constantly breaking and different things with the whole pedal where you transfer force they kept on snapping off well this is a completely new redesign that they're saying on their website this is a redesign for this product the elite has a new redesign so this whole area here is all being sealed so you're not going to be getting stuff getting in there and trashing up the chain you can unscrew these points in there if you need to get in there to oil it or you need to change the chain for whatever reason but this is all being perfectly sealed everything is in good condition these areas around here they're saying that they've got a solid steel crank now i think people were complaining that they kept basically snapping off so they've redesigned that they've made it one solid unit this bar down here really solid massive piece of metal one the pedals really solid well designed really sturdy good grips on there this whole area is really really solid but you can see from here this whole design here massive thick bar here i mean ridiculously thick and this is obviously the main frame that comes right through here out through the back you can just see the sheer thickness that goes throughout the whole bar and this is where the weight comes from this is where the stability is coming and as you can see i'm trying to wobble from this from the side which is obviously where it's going to be its weakest and there's hardly any wobble in it really really solid design the feet back down here this platform is massive you've got adjustable feet things down here so you can change the height to make sure they're level same with the front a massive thick piece of bar straight down here massive thick you've got the wheel so you can um, transport it and move it around if you want to put it outside or take it inside these really really grippy uh, foot pedals really solid um, and what's nice about this compared to say the rogue echo bike which you normally have to pay extra for it comes with a wind guard so again it's in there in a minute it's cold but i can take this off if i want to if it gets summer and I want to get a bit more air on me, especially if I'm overheating because this thing's difficult. There is some maintenance that you will do on it, but like it says in that email, it's very little. This is a low maintenance piece of equipment. And in the description, I'll, I'll show what it actually says, what they have talked about this product, about I think that it's a linkage kit that's in the chain that basically makes it very, very low maintenance work. I'll get that information up now so you guys can see it. But overall, you've got a fully customizable chair, um, seat from 
forward and backwards, up and down, but it's a solid platform. It's nice here as well, because you've got the numbers there and you've got it on here, so you can get it set up for each person a lot quicker than trying to adjust it and see what feels good. The whole area is completely like solid, like this thing is built to last. Everything in here has been, it's perfectly sealed up so nothing's going to be getting in there any dirt or anything like that it's solid the whole area that they said that were issues with the original air bike they've all readdressed a completely redesigned a new redesign handles and the dashboard is different as well nice big lcd screen and the fan itself is big and it's neat and it's tidy as you can see guys this is the walk around so you can have a look at what it actually looks like this thing is pretty big i don't think it's as long as the echo bike i think it's a little bit higher but overall, this whole thing from front to side to back everywhere is thick, chunky, thick metal. And this is why your frame itself, very little wobble, especially if you're going from front to back, this thing does not move at all, which is the main concern with the first one is it wobbled when you went full blast on it. And that was the issue with it. This one, redesigned, solid, massive, awesome piece of kit i definitely recommend it what i like about this thing as well is you can use it for numerous different reasons and this is why i recommend people just to get an air bike in general for homework because this is fantastic for doing your cardio but you can do different varieties of cardio like i've never used a piece of equipment that's managed to get my heart rate up so quick and so high or something that if i was to do long duration work is so demanding on the body like this if you want to do sprints tabata sprints or if you want to do the 10 20 20 10 whatever it is this will beat your absolute ass. One of those pieces of equipment that people say you love to hate it because it is hard, it is brutal, it's not forgiving. This isn't something you can go on and just sort of do a half-assed workout. This is demanding. I've done ones where I've literally just done a 10 minute work where it's a steady pace and it's kicked my ass after 10 minutes. And then I'll do ones where I'm doing 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off or uh, Tabata's on it and it is absolutely brutal. And what I like about it compared to other bits of equipment is it gets your heart rate up, but it's also getting your legs working and your upper body working. You can also use the upper body independently to the legs. And this is a new thing that they've introduced where if you want, you can actually use it in a backwards position. If you want to pedal backwards, you can actually do that where other ones you can't do that. So you can go backwards if you want to. I don't know a reason why you would, but they've added that in if you want to. So like I said, you can use your upper body, you can do your lower body, you can build muscular endurance in your upper body and your lower body while working on the whole body um, endurance and just getting your cardiovascular workout. This is perfect for if you're trying to do a warm before a workout, but if you just want to do a cardio workout where you just want to beat yourself up, you want to smash it, you want to get your heart rate up, you want to get fitter, you want to get stronger, then something like an air bike is going to be perfect because unlike say a treadmill where you're only using your lower body and yet it's great for doing your cardio and you can do it anywhere you want, this one you're able to incorporate your upper body and your lower body in unison. You can use it for power, you can use it for endurance. There's so many different uses you can use for an air bike and this is definitely why I have bought this compared to buying another piece of cardio equipment because, because look at the size of it. Compared to say a treadmill, it's a lot smaller compared to a row, even though a row may be thinner, it takes up a lot more distance. As you can see there, going full tilt, this thing doesn't wobble. Like the original classic, it'd be going from side to side, especially when you're twisting and turning. This one doesn't. The Rogue Echo bike does wobble a little. If you're bigger and stronger, you have more of a belly. This doesn't move. Really strong, really durable. Regardless of how big you are, you're not gonna knock this thing over. You're not going to break it. This thing is built for commercial use, heavy duty, really solid, and all round a great workout. Guys, I hope you found this video really useful. Like I said, this was a video for me that I wanted to do for you guys because I was looking for a comparison video between the Elite and the Echo Bike because I only just found out that they had this one. And I thought, okay, it's a lot more money. Is it worth it? What is the difference? Everyone's talking about that the Assault Air Bikes need so much maintenance and you're basically gonna have to get good at replacing and fixing a bike if you wanna use that one compared to the Rogue, which put me off. I want to use a piece of equipment I can just jump on do a workout, get it done, and I can go. Look, I don't want a heavy maintenance 
piece of equipment. Like all of my other equipment is basically maintenance free. It's just bars, it's just weights. I don't want a high maintenance piece of equipment, but I want one that's gonna last, I want one that's gonna be good. And if it does go wrong, I want it to be one that I can fix myself as opposed to having to wait and pay for a specialist to do it for me. So I hope you found this video useful, but this is coming from someone with personal experience from using the Classic to using this one to using a Rogue Echo bike. And in my opinion, this one is better than a Rogue Echo bike. It might be a little bit more expensive. At the minute, it's the same price if you buy it from the UK. It's sold out in a lot of places because I think it's so popular. This is definitely gonna be a bike I think you're gonna see more of. And like I said, I feel this one is a lot harder than the Rogue Echo bike as well. It feels like when you use the, the Rogue Echo bike, it feels like that is more leg dominant than upper body. Like It feels like your legs are burnt out before your upper body. This one, you can definitely feel it in your upper body more. You can get more in there and it feels like it's more well-rounded piece of equipment. And the transmission, like the feel of it, just feels like a lot of your energy is going more into it than sort of like going off into a belt-driven transmission, guys. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you like this sort of content and there's more stuff like this, there's gonna be product reviews and different equipment, there's gonna be calisthenics and bodyweight fitness and more workout guides. If you want more content like that, make sure that you subscribe, hit that bell icon so you get notified of whenever I upload. And if you have any questions or you wanna create a discussion, please use the comment section down below and I'll do my best to help you out. Without the way, I'll see you guys in the next video.